Now there's no such thing as a perfect baby monitor. Wait, shit, don't stop watching. Baby monitors today are like those parents who have four daughters and name them Michaela, Mackenzie, McEverly, and McKenna, and then expect us to tell them apart. Much like having kids, every baby monitor has its advantages and disadvantages. Each baby monitor on this list, I think would work great for just about any family, but I think they all excel in certain areas. So I'm going to highlight those features. And at the end, I'll help you decide which one is right for you because you're big kids now and I'm a dad. And it's my job to tell you what to do. Hey, this is John with Fathercraft, where we review baby and kid gear and make online courses to help make this parenting thing just a bit easier. So check us out at fathercraft.com. Quick PSA, be sure to stick around until the end. We're giving away not one, but four monitors that made our list of best baby monitors of 2021. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Newton Baby. No matter which baby monitor you choose, you're going to want a great safe mattress. And Newton is our top pick. So stay tuned for an exclusive discount at the end of this video. The first baby monitor on this list is the Miku Pro. If I had a most improved award, I'd totally give it to Miku. They recently released the pro version of their baby monitor in 2021, a solid three years after their initial launch. The pro version has a whole host of upgrades, including better resolution, improved speakers, and a pinch to zoom capability. But probably the most notable upgrade is its connectivity. While the Nanit Pro connects faster from my experience, the Miku Pro is remarkably more stable and connects a whole lot faster than the original model. You also have access to unlimited video recordings detailing sleep activity, among other things, without needing a subscription like you would with the Nanit Pro. Plus, the app continues to improve and recently has undergone a significant update to its sleep analytics section. But by far the coolest feature is found in its breathing monitoring capabilities. The internal hardware that powers this feature is otherworldly as far as baby monitors go and allows you to monitor your baby's breathing without the use of any wearables, which no other baby monitor on the market can do. At 400 bucks, it may seem to be one of the more expensive Wi-Fi baby monitors, but remember, you don't need any subscription to access any of its features like you do with the Nanit Pro. Oh, hey, quick note. If you're thinking about buying one of these monitors, consider doing so by clicking the links in the description below. These are affiliate links, uh, meaning that at no additional cost to you, you can help support this channel. And uh, we appreciate that. So speaking of the Nanit Pro, that is the next baby monitor on my list. And in my opinion, it's probably the most well-rounded Wi-Fi baby monitor um, that we're gonna talk about, but it comes at a significant cost. Now that may raise some eyebrows uh, after hearing that the Miku costs $400, but stick with me. So the 1080 video stream is sharp and connects to the app super quickly. The app itself is easy to navigate and has a lot of useful features, including a boatload of customizable notifications and alerts, a sleep dashboard detailing information about how well your baby slept, and historical movement and sound activities. You can also monitor your baby's breathing by using Nanit's customized sleepwear, and you can track your baby's growth by using their proprietary crib sheet. There is a catch though. All of this information is only available if you purchase one of their three Sleep Insights subscription packages. Um, and they range from 10 bucks a month to 30 bucks a month. Now the caveat to that catch is that you can get this base subscription package, uh, which provides a week's worth of historical data, plus breathing monitoring for free for the first year. Nana is now throwing in a single belly wrap for free with their purchase, but if you want more than that, again, uh, it might seem obvious you're going to have to shell out some more cash. All this to say that things can start to get rather pricey. Now for me, my favorite feature of the Nana Pro is the uh, insights feature that provides sleep history and analytics. Um, and as well as sleep coaching tips. Based on the historical activity and trends, the coaching tips will evolve based on the analysis done, which again is super useful, and I relied heavily on the information that it provided. But again, it does become quite pricey, especially if you opt for the higher tier out of the gate, and competitors like the Miku Pro are now providing some really solid sleep data for free. The Cubo AI Plus is another excellent option in the Wi-Fi baby monitor space. Now, the bird theme camera provides one of the clearest video feeds of any baby monitor I've tested, and I really like the fact that you can manipulate the camera lens up and down to get the view you need based on where you mount the camera. Now, speaking of mounting, there are a bunch of available options. Your purchase includes a floor stand, a crib mount, and a surface stand, and you can now purchase a wall mount option as well. I will say the floor stand isn't anywhere near as solidly built as the Miku's or Nanit's floor stands, but again, you get it for free. So don't complain too much. For me, the most notable feature the Cubo AI Plus has to offer are its unique monitoring alerts. Cubo takes a proactive approach when it comes to sending alert notifications. So instead of alerting you when something terrible has happened, like your baby has stopped breathing, it will alert you when your baby is in a potentially dangerous situation, like having her face covered 
or if she's rolled over onto her belly. Both of these types of events are major things to avoid, especially when it comes to preventing SIDS or sudden infant death syndrome. All right, the next monitor on this list is the Lollipop. And I think it's your best option for Wi-Fi baby monitors if you're on a budget, because it only costs about 150 bucks. Now for some context, this is cheaper than the V1 version of the Infant Optics DXR8, which has a fraction of the features the Lollipop has. Now, despite its low price point, it doesn't sacrifice much on quality and value. It streams video in 1080, has white noise and lullaby options, background audio, and event data history. The Lollipop also has something called cross detection. Now this feature lets you set a boundary zone within the app, and if your baby crosses that zone, you'll get an alert sent to your phone. Now this comes in really handy as your baby starts to become more mobile and testing her ability to break out of her enclosures. For me, the most notable feature uh, is the multi-streaming feature. With this, you can simultaneously view multiple video streams at once, which I believe is unique to Lollipop. And I should mention there is a caveat with the historical event recording feature. Uh, stepping back here for a minute. The data history only captures 30 second clips, but you can opt into a subscription package that gives you uh, 10 days worth of 24 seven video recording for 99 bucks a year, or 30 days of 24 seven video recording for 199 bucks a year. Also, in order to get a temperature and humidity reading, you have to purchase a sensor for an additional 50 bucks. So obviously with these add-ons, especially if you go for the higher tier subscription package, the Lollipop quickly exit the budget friendly category. But honestly, I think there's a lot of value to be had in the monitor itself without the subscription service or the add-on sensor. All right, I wanted to mention one more Wi-Fi monitor um, and that is the Lumi by Pampers. Now it has almost none of the features that are found in other Wi-Fi baby monitors, but what it lacks in traditional Wi-Fi baby monitor features, it makes up in spades with its data tracking. The Lumi's most notable feature is the wet diaper sensor that attaches to the front of your baby's diaper. And as soon as it detects wetness, it will send an alert to your phone but that's basically where the automated alerts stop. Basically, the Lumi is a glorified tracking app with a 1080p camera. It tracks sleep, feedings, and diaper changes, but everything has to be entered manually into the app. I mean, obviously outside of the wet diaper sensor. So if you're into manual data entry, then the Lumi is for you. That being said, the Lumi app has a wealth of useful information regarding the development of your baby, which can be found in the insight section of the app. This section provides a ton of information regarding sleeping milestones, uh, sleep coaching tips, and as your baby grows, the information that it provides grows with it. So every nine weeks or so, your child will enter a new leap. Each new leap your baby enters, the app will provide detailed information on what milestones to look out for, how your baby's brain develops, uh, developmentally appropriate ways to comfort your baby, as well as ways to interact and play with your baby. Now, obviously your little bundles of joy will neither stay little nor bundles of joy for that matter for long. And as they get older, the more mobile and reckless they become. So keeping an eye on them, whether they're sleeping or roaming around the house, looking for trouble is still important. If you find yourself in the situation, having a baby monitor that detects breathing or alerts you when your baby rolls over is not going to be all that useful. So to me, this is where non-connected monitors offer a bit more value than Wi-Fi baby monitors because they are going to be less expensive. And if your kid decides to see how far he can throw the parent unit before it breaks, you won't be out too much money. There are a couple of non-connected monitors I've used that work really well with older kids. And the first one I want to mention is the Summer Infant Baby Pixel Zoom. I really like this monitor because it offers some extremely useful features that are pretty similar to features found in higher end Wi-Fi baby monitors, but it comes at a much lower price. One of the features that I want to mention is the Sleep Zone Boundary Box. Now, similar to the Lollipop um, and even the Nanit Pro and Miku Pro, you can set a detection zone and once your baby begins to exit that zone, the monitor will alert you. Another cool feature is the voice activated alerts. Within the monitor, you can set a noise threshold and if the noise detected in the crib exceeds that threshold, again, alert will be triggered on the pairing unit. So these features along with the lullaby and white noise options and sound activated LEDs make it uh, an excellent non-connected monitor option. Another non-connected monitor I want to mention is the Eufy Space View. It's also relatively inexpensive and comes with a couple of pretty useful features like white noise and lullaby options and two-way audio, but the coolest features are found in the voice activated and sound activated alerts. When the voice activated alert is on, the video feed will activate once the sound crosses the threshold you set within the monitor. The sound activated alert is similar, but as soon as the camera detects noise that exceeds the set threshold, it will not only turn the video feed on, but also activate an audio alert. You can also set the alert duration from 10 seconds all the way up to a minute. And you can also set how loud this alert is. Now I really dig this feature because I am a deep sleeper. And if this alarm goes off, 
I will for sure know about it. In my opinion, this is where Wi-Fi baby monitors universally fall short. Wi-Fi monitors only provide a single alert notification and nine times out of 10, I'm not going to hear it or see it for that matter, especially if I'm sleeping. So if you have older kids and don't wanna fork over the hundreds of dollars for a Wi-Fi baby monitor uh, with features that you're not gonna use, then the Summer Infant and the Eufy Space View are excellent options. While that might be the end of the list of our picks for best baby monitor of 2021, don't go anywhere. I have two more super important things you're not going to want to miss. First, thanks again to Newton Baby for sponsoring this video. Newton mattresses are 100% breathable, washable, and recyclable. We've got one of these at my house, and I can vouch that it's pretty dope. And since you stuck with us, you can save 35 bucks on a Newton mattress when you use the code FATHERCRAFT35 at checkout through the end of 2021. All right, giveaway time. Here's the deal. We're giving away two Miku Pro monitors and two Nana Pro monitors over the next four months. Here's how to enter. Head on over to fathercraft.com slash win, which is super important because if you don't, we won't be able to get in touch with you if you win. By doing so, you'll be joining our email list, but don't worry, it's super rad. And unlike parenting, you can unsubscribe anytime and we won't pee and poop on you. Hey, I forgot a super important uh, step on how to enter, and that is subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed already. Uh, but if you are subscribed and you are part of the email list, uh, just go ahead and shoot us an email and let us know that you wanna enter and we will add you to the list. Three, go over to fathercraft.com slash bag and swoon over our sexy new diaper bag, which is coming out later this year. Okay, actually, you don't have to do this as part of the contest, but you really should because I mean, come on, this thing is sexy. If you like this video, please consider tapping the like button. Got a question about baby monitors? Leave it in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer. Official contest rules and legal jazz in the description below. All right, I'm done. Thanks for hanging out with me until the end and I will see you in the next video.